index set block size and internal structure of index set blocks okay uh, in index set block size we mainly see why we consider block size important when we are considering our index, index set okay you here uh, we can tell that the size of every node and the size of the blocks in, inside my sequence set of my beat plus tree is almost same and the reason why I go for using the same size for both the uh, block size and the nodes in my B plus tree is that it is actually a good fit okay but of a for a block size in the sense it is actually uh, fitting uh, the more number of records so that it re helps me reduce the seek time and the second thing is uh, it helps me with saving the blocks efficiently inside both my disk drive and my memory now the second reason for why I go for it uh, for the common block size is that for implementing a buffering scheme like virtual buffering or a virtual simple prefix b plus tree or a virtual uh, b tree uh, this technique of using a common block size for both the nodes and the block of your sequence set uh, is good okay and the third reason is even if I'm having a separate um, uh, and um, uh, same block size for both the uh, index set and the uh, sequence set the same the both are saved inside the same file because the seeking time can be reduced if I'm having it in uh, two files the seek time for both the for accessing both the files increases my seek time that is why I try to save it inside my same file so that the seeking time is reduced the next topic is internal structure of index set blocks okay here we are considering that we can have fixed size blocks as well as variable size blocks in the case of fixed size block we have as we have already seen we end up with problems like wastage of space that is why we are also must have an option of variable sized blocks okay so here we can tell that we are having a large block of fixed size and I need to know what all other procedures or steps I need to keep in mind whenever I am going to save my separators for my B plus trees here the main important ways of um, saving my separators are the first thing I'm going to make a list of separators and then I'm going to make an index of the separators means I'm going to create an index file for my separators okay which is having a pointer to my separators the third thing which I'm going to have is I'm going to have a relative block number which is nothing but a reference number to a block which saves my separator okay so into a single index set box and the next uh, point is that I'm going to include a separator count telling that this much number of separators I have inside a uh, node okay and the th uh, next uh, fifth point is I'm going to tell mention the total length of my separators okay and so these are the five points which I include when I'm going to include my separator inside my index node so we'll see the diagrammatic representation so the thing is more clear so this is how I am going to mention my list of separator by concatenating my separator into a list and this is how it looks like now I has I have already told the second point was to introduce an index for the separator so this is what the index which I uh, which is included for the separator telling this much number of uh, characters my separator have so 0 0 min, uh, 0 2 minus 0 0 tells me that the first is having two characters a s okay so the index of the separator then third one is uh, this model telling that if I'm having both the index and the separators ready now what is the structure I need to have for my all index set box okay so this is what the structure which helps me telling that I'm having five parts as we have already explained the first one is my separator count okay tells me how many number of separators I have so I here I'm having 11 number of separators and the next one is the total length next one is the total length of the separator tells me how many bytes or how many characters does my separator contain so that is 28 so this much contain 28 characters and the next one is the index of the separator so it can as I have already explained it, it is the index which is assigned for referring a particular separator the next one is relative block number telling that for this particular uh, separator which block I need to access 
which relevant keys are uh, belonging to which block so that is what the relative block number is used for it will be pointing to the relative block in your sequence set telling the keys starting from this to this is inside this block number okay so this is how the structure of my index set looks like now we am going to explain you how the separators are uh, connected with my relative block number see here I'm having B00 and I'm having AS so how is it been connected B00 and AS so B00 in the sense the first block number is having keys starting from or lesser than AS okay and similarly B01 it is having keys less than B2 okay so when I'm having keys less than AS I need to go for B0 and if I'm having keys greater than or equal to AS I should go to B1 as we have already explained the conditions before in the previous topic okay same case we are having here the only thing we are explaining here is how is this relative block number assigned with the uh, every separators okay here next we are going to see how what are the other things we have to keep in our mind when I'm arranging the different components of my index block if I'm considering that I'm having both the conditions that my block is should uh, should contain a fixed sized um, block or a variable size block what are the conditions so I am considering that if it is a sophisticated internal structure I need to con consider the internal index the collection of variable length record then the separate set of fixed length records then how to use it inside my b plus tree or any other file structures if I'm having a very large block size okay the second thing which I have to keep in mind is if my node is having variable order what are the things I need to keep it in mind the first thing is the number of separators is always equal to or it is always dependent to the block size and so when I'm considering variable separator I should keep in mind that I should have a form of separator so that it has been uh, defined or uh, structured properly and we have to always consider that it have a maximum order and minimum depth that is my B plus tree must be balanced and the order must be either variable or fixed okay the second point which you have to keep in mind in is the tree of variable order if I'm having a tree which is of variable order these are the main things I need to keep in my mind and we have to uh, handle it properly when to when to how to determine the block is full how to determine the ha block is half full and when to determine when I need to go for splitting merge or redistribution when I go for insertion deletion or redistribution so these are the main things which we have to keep in mind when I'm handling a B plus tree thank you